It happened one time, a man was talking against Islam in a prison. We were in a prison. And while we were there, he was talking about, this is so dirty when you talk about having two wives. That's filthy. And he said it like that. And we, we began explaining that Islam, it's forbidden for a man to be with a woman at all unless they're married. And he said, that's barbaric. <laughs> what do you have rules like that for? I said, well, one of the reasons Islam tells us is because of rights. Islam gives rights to everybody, but it puts limits at the same time. The man has rights, the woman has rights, and the children have rights. Where are the rights for the children when they don't have a father? What about your own father? He said, I don't know who my father was. I said, okay, your mother's father then. She doesn't know either. This really happened. There isn't anything funny about that. I, and I looked at him and I, and I couldn't help myself because we had a gathering of other inmates there. I said, now you mean to tell me you criticize Islam because we insist on marriage, but you don't know who your father is. Your mother doesn't know who her father is. And you're sitting here in prison Uh-huh. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? When you think about this, how can you criticize the very thing that it was the cure to your problem? And this is because of being so upside down. Whoever's having their paradise here is actually upside down. They really are. And they don't know it.